Hello everyone, I'm Pilecki Oli from Flexmere. We're here at Trilogy Barber Expo at Western Springs. Let's have a look. So Trilogy Barber, there's three styles um, in New Zealand barbering. This is the brand that we're trying to promote to the world. Um, so I'm Urban Side of Barbering, um, Trilogy. Uh, there's also traditional and there's uh, contemporary, which is the new flavour. How I got into barbering was one of my good friends, a uh, Māori, Māori brother from Huntley, he um, gave me a haircut and then I gave him a haircut. So he taught me how to cut hair just on the spot. Uh, I enjoyed it. Uh, made, making people look good made me feel good in a way. So that's the passion that grew from a hobby. But myself, I'm speaking from a Pacifica lens, I'm being Samoan. We can watch someone do something and then mimic, and then we become quite natural at doing that, at copying. So a holistic approach to our education is where we find um, our people can relate to really well. Um, we've got amazing, amazing talented people here in Aotearoa, and we want to just give them a, a platform where they can come and learn, and then showcase their skills and build a brand from that. So. I like the quote that Bea says, he says, you can't compete against me because I want you to win as well. So that's what this is about, is building a platform for you to come in, uh, make a name for yourself, and learn from some of the best in the country. This expo is amazing because it's, this is the first expo event in the barbering industry uh, since COVID. And so it's bringing barbers back together, and, you know, we're not competing against each other, but to help inspire each other. You know, you are, there's enough heads for all of us to cut. So you are as good as it's going to get for a lot of our men who are struggling silently behind closed doors, losing jobs or even broken relationships, you know. Us as the barber may be that safe space, may be that help that a lot of our tiny needed. So this event has been amazing. It was hard because, you know, I, I started with what I had. I didn't have much. And so I started in my hood, my neighbourhood called Aranui at the time. And I started in a little garden tin shed. But it was from just listening to people's stories and sharing my story, I found that being vulnerable and sharing my story gives permission, permission for other men who may not look like me, who may wear uniforms, uh, high vis vests, or even game patches, open up and share their story. And so I really believe that the power of the barber chair gives a lot of men uh, the chance to be vulnerable and courageous with their own story. My hope that people take away tonight is they will go and do the work themselves because I, I feel like who are we as barbers to do this work, to have conversations with men that sit in our chair if we can't do this with ourselves. And so in this industry, you know, you're going to get checked, you're going to get called out if you're, if you're a fake. We're trying to create a, a platform for barbers beyond just cutting here behind the chair. Um, we want to give them other opportunities like doing stuff like this, education, um, but to do that, it relies on community, it relies on people showing up. Barbering is a grind. Um, so it might look glamorous to the young kids out there at the moment because we're posting on social media all these kind of things, but we're only posting the highlight reel. We're not posting that we spend most of the most of the day sweeping the floor, um, taking on other people's problems. Um, sometimes we take them home with us where maybe we shouldn't. So it, it, it can wear you out. Understand who you are. So when I brought the idea up to Joe Bez and Paletti, I, I've been to experts around the world and I didn't see enough representation of Pacific Islanders. So I felt it was important that we would take the stage as Pacific Islanders in this industry and take up the space here. The message that we want to bring forth to our community is that we're just as good as any other barbers around the world and it's time to highlight and put ourselves on stage and really excel in that space. So we have a plan and uh, that this is the starting of something that we want to create annually. And, and again, the message is always going to be the same is to highlight people that look like us on stage and really um, expose their talents um, and their knowledge to, to the wider community. Cool, and that's a wrap. Thanks for coming, everyone. Keep it cooking.